Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. I didn't get bit. Hey. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Scandalous. Stamer. Look out. Don't get shot. Not in the tushy. The tushy at bed's about to get shot. Meryl. What is it? Watch your tushy. Welcome, definitely welcome, is welcome. A resemblance. I have uh, Press the returned repeatedly to regain your strength. Uh, to, when you've had enough, the press scene the of the crime, shall we say. When your life reaches zero, uh, the game is over. see if I have over. slightly better there luck this no time. Continues, my friend. I'm using a third-party controller, so I am about using going to try to use auto fire because I want to know how he knows. I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If Let's see how this goes. Time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage. There's no. Yep. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> How did you like that? Shall we go again? <laughs> Apparently you didn't notice the <laughs> auto fire. Oh. Had enough yet? No, nah, I'm feeling pretty We're good. We're not finished yet. Oh, buddy. <laughs> you still okay? Want me to go on? Sure. Can you take one more? Absolutely. So that's interesting. I wonder if the if it's a different like signal or something when there was auto fire on the PlayStation One controller. Maybe since it's PlayStation 3, it's not man. recognizing it. Well, that's enough for or now. I mean, like they I transmit think. the si signal differently or something. You're the boss's brother, all right. I don't know. Your I do brother, not know. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a hind helicopter? Very nice. The Les Enfanteries project was not Les a Les Enfants. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. Hey, I beat it. Totally legitimately, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no cheating here. Oh.
Looks like I got a roommate. The DARPA chief? Johnny. Bless you. So I guess I kind of ruined it. I'm playing under the bed. I'm checking for monsters. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? <sighs> I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the Start 3 Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Start 2 or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case... Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see... Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I should probably save.
Snake, are you okay? I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. Yeah, I, I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow, you really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're alright. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. I like how he kind of lays it on thick when he's talking to the ladies. Like, oh, I've, I've been through worse. Uh, I'll be okay. Please, Nick, don't give up. I give up already. Shut up! Shut up in there, will ya? Don't you have to poop yet? to that corner. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Seriously, the most incompetent guard was able to get me out of the cell by himself. I would have knocked him out. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you once more. Okay, Press I'm gonna... Press the circle button repeatedly to... Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna see how well I can do without the turbo, although I got the turbo ready if I need it, so I don't feel like dying. Oh, not nearly as well. Okay, that was... How did you like wasn't that? Wasn't as horrible as it could have been. Shall we go again? Sure, why not? Not working. I, I'll get yet? through three. I don't know if I'd be able to get to the four. Not finished yet. I'm gonna continue cheating. Come on. Oh, come on. Still okay? Want me to Fabulous. go? Fabulous. Can you take one more? Oh boy. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Ocelot. Sorry, boss. <laughs> when I first activated the turbo, my finger may have not been on the button. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think I finished saying what I was saying earlier. I think I kind of gave it away in the first episode when I mentioned that uh, the DARPA chief that I met was... Um, decoy octopus and that's why uh, it looks like he's been dead for days when in in game it's only been a couple hours um, they kind of hinted that but they don't show you the full picture like you can see the guy on the torture table that was wearing similar clothes but there's no guarantee people would put that Snake. together it's showtime Ocelot wants you I think they pretty much explicitly say it later in the game. <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button repeatedly. Nope, that's not working. <laughs> How did you like that? Oh, it was fabulous. 
Shall we go <laughs> again? I think it's pretty obvious. Had enough I can, yet? Wow, I can keep gaining life after We're it stops. Not finished yet. That's good to know. Yep, totally me. <laughs> not the cheating controller at all. Our okay? Want me to go on? Fabulous. Can you take one more? Absolutely. Can do. Yeah, my arm hurts. Poor snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay, but you can leave out the benzodrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry, it'll feel good. Huh? Oh, here we go. Okay, here I go. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. You talk a lot until someone asks you Tell me about talk. yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So... Is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him? Knowing that? Yep. How? He wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the trauma that Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while. And Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But... D didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. 
He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Oh, here we go. Chief. You don't hurry up and get me out of here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. Also, I got you this level 6 card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here. Take this, too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. Jeez, he's coming back. See you later. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I 
I knew I had a turbo on because there was a light on my controller. I just wasn't sure what button it was. Apparently, it was the weapon selection line. What the hell? Oh no, he's dead. Try to choke him, kill him. And he got up and he went to the door. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Don't tell me, Jack. Press Poopy. the circle button. I'm pressing the circle button. you like that? It was fabulous. Shall we go again? Oh, please. I didn't play him for an hour. I don't know how much I'm going to cut out, so I probably shouldn't play too much longer. Had enough yet? No. I could do We're at least two more. We're not finished yet. Hmm. I suppose I could be talking more. I'm a bit tired. I, I'm slightly changing my schedule still this okay? weekend. Want me to so go now on? I'm going to end up basically Can getting out of bed more? about an hour before I used to go to bed. So it's a bit rough. <laughs> Hardly slept at all yesterday. Yeah, I was shooting for five hours, gave up after about four hours and four and a half hours. Because I got sick of constantly waking up. Slept plenty You're last a strong night. Man. Just, oh, been well, up so that's long enough now. for now, I think. You're a soldier. You should understand. You and I can't continue to live in a world like this. We need tension. Conflict. The world today has become too soft. We are living in an age where true feelings are suppressed. So we're going to shake things up a bit. We'll create a world dripping with tension. A world filled with greed and suspicion, bravery and cowardice. You want the same thing that we do. Liquid Snake is the one. He is an incredible man. He is the man who can really make it happen. So the character models in this are, are pretty good, and like when they're wearing clothes, um, they do a good job of connecting every like the limbs of the body and everything. But as soon as you get a character with no shirt, man, those shoulders look rough. Shut up! Hey, come smell this handkerchief. Oh, I want to watch you run. Oh, G2.
Otacon? So you're here to get me out. Hi, Frank. Bye, Frank. The ninja. That ninja. Hey. Aw, I killed Johnny. That's one way to avoid a uh, animation of putting clothes on. At least he cleans up after himself. All right, I need to. A tiny bit longer, and I, I'm sure this video is way too long now. Well, howdy. Supposed to go at the moment. Oh. Oh. Uh, I should check these rooms, see if there's anything to grab. planted in your items hurry throw it away who the hell are you one of them you'll find out soon enough <laughs> hey look at that Inside their ranks is he an informer. 
Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. It's more than a feeling. Uh. What? Going after I killed Sniper Wolf. Um, or Quag Sniper Wolf. That's where the, uh, through that door where she uh, stopped me, that's where the communication building is. That's a whole thing, though, so I might. Oh, but I haven't really done anything in this episode. Okay, I think there's an action scene, like, as soon as you get there, so play through that just so you have some fun this is gonna be a pretty long episode so I need to stop after that This new bedtime is going to take some getting used to. <laughs> that should have blown me up. I was trying to walk to the side. That didn't work. Pardon me. I think there's uh, another ration in here. Look at my full health. All right, I believe as soon as I get in there, it'll be right to uh, an action-packed stairway. I shall become the stair master, if you will. Actually, since I'm, oh, I can't use weapons in here. It's a visual thing that I've always found amusing. I was gonna show you, but I can't use weapons. Not in here. I don't know what that accent's supposed to be. Please open, please open, please open. Yeah. Can't catch me. say what the handkerchief was I can't think I don't know what I've said the handkerchief smells like sniper wolves the dogs like sniper wolf so if I equip the handkerchief they'll leave me alone makes it a little easier than the cardboard box cardboard box works perfectly except you have to uh, equip and unequip, whereas this you can just hold. Oh, 
better at that. Jeez, I've been almost playing for an hour and a half. Alright. There might be... Uh, yeah, okay. So... This always amused me because it, it looks like he's grabbing that out of his pocket. Oh, you can't do it with the Nikita. But yeah, any weapon. Oh, look, just right in my skin tight pants. Oh, um, but it's great with the rocket launcher because it just, the animation looks like he's just pulling a rocket launcher right out of his pants. Really? You ran past it and then turned around to remember it? Yeah, that's a raw deal. She's, she's in a bad way. Got mixed up in the wrong I, crowd. I Seen it a hundred times before. You hate to I see it happen. Quiet down. Save your strength. You can't scared. help her, Snake. She has I to learn to help soldier. herself. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. War is ugly. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Yeah, people blow. Don't forget me. Who? Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. To be You're shot wrong. by a sniper and Meryl captured? thought she had to become a soldier. Thought it was the only way. She said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that? She wasn't ready for real combat. It's a big reveal I shouldn't have up. pushed her so hard. It's all my fault. It's not like you, Snake. Master. What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I just couldn't listen anymore. Master. Hey, Snake, you can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Just that road leads me. to madness. Believe me. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It doesn't suit a legend like you. I'm sure Meryl's just fine. Mei Ling. Snake. Forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. That's what Meryl would want too. You're right. <laughs> Forget Meryl about Meryl. Just do thing. what Meryl wants. Snake. What? Snake. Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Yes. She's special. There aren't many women like her around. That's not what I meant. She's the Colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just. I guess it's in the genes. Genes? What are you talking about, Colonel? <laughs> no. I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes, uh, he was uh, Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to nab the Mafia. When was that? Oh, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? A New York, I think. Naomi, I thought you didn't have any family. Well, I, I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never even had the chance to meet him. Oh. Snake, 
Good luck. Watch your back, Snake. I kind of love that. Oh, I thought you didn't have family. Well, she had family. They just dead. <laughs> It's not surprising that she had a grandfather at some point. Sorry for the paranoia. I just know at some point it might be because in Metal Gear Solid 4 you do return to this facility. And at some point there's uh <laughs> There it is. I knew it. Ha ha I knew it. But yeah, I knew that mounted gun was there. I just couldn't remember if it was this time through Shadow Moses or the next time. Wicked. I was trying to shoot the uh, mice earlier. There's like a cutscene. Like, oh, you're horrible. You're shooting mice. Oh, and a few episodes back, I was trying to get him to comment on me trying to go into the girl's bathroom. I missed the opportunity. Um, what it is, is uh, when you're in there to talk to Meryl, that's when they'll comment on you being in the girl's bathroom. So I should have called them on the co codec. Codec. Right there. Oh, no. Well, move, you idiot. There's a lot of floors. I really need to change this. I haven't met anyone yet. There we go. <laughs> Almost there. Uh, now I just kind of don't want to stop playing. I need to stop playing. Ow! Shot someone. Think I know what's next. Oh, boy. Okay, 
For a second, I thought this was the fight, but it's not quite yet. Um, yeah, this would actually be a really good place to end. I thought it was going to throw me into a boss fight, but then I'm like, oh wait, I haven't gotten the right weapon yet. That would have been rough. But anyways, thank you for joining me on this snake? fabulous journey. Until next time. strong swimmer who most often drowns. It is because the strong swimmer overestimates his abilities and underestimates the strength of the river. You are probably quite used to the mission now, but don't get careless. Oh, I've been careless for a long time.